Hey what's up guys Himansh here with another very exciting tutorial and in this video we are going to create this one. Okay so it looks pretty dramatic. So guys in this video we are going to learn some AEC workflow which is very handy with Cinema 4D and uh, After Effects workflow. So we can import Cinema 4D scene into After Effects with include all 3D data like cameras, lights and other things. So and also gonna learn some morph camera techniques in Cinema 4D. Then we jump into the uh, After Effects and do the rest of the post production process. So and before guys check this out these uh, products and it's really cool uh, the uh, these uh, upcoming products by uh, Andy Dominic rack so it's coming out in May 13 so stay tuned it's a really cool bundle for creating uh, space scenes inside of Adobe After Effects and uh, you can see uh, the free 3d model pack for Element 3D, the Assets Pack and Optical Spheres Presets. So you definitely check this out. And also check his blog for getting uh, more news and updates about the product. So okay guys, so let's get started. Okay guys, so first I need to tell you that I put the free project file so you can download it and uh, follow my steps. I put the link in the description. So, okay, so first uh, apply these uh, materials. Uh, let's quickly do that. And apply this onto this one and the blue one. Okay, and let's uh, apply the white material on, on the text and make it R1. So, so my white materials on the edges uh, so that's what I want and apply the white material to this one and select these two and apply this uh, if you control click and drag you can copy and apply the material and okay and the next one is this one so red one and the white okay so let's uh, create a background so choose a background here and put this material onto the background So uh, we don't want to see this image in the background so uh, let's uh, quickly choose tags and composite tag and turn off the scene by camera because uh, we will composite our background in the After Effects. So if I hit render so you can see the image is uh, totally invisible so okay guys so let's uh, create some uh, camera movements so let's choose camera and uh, move this over here and let's uh, control click and drag to duplicate oops uh, duplicate is uh, this and this uh, select this camera and uh, choose the another angle so maybe this is pretty good okay so we have these uh, two different camera angles so let's uh, select these uh, both cameras and choose camera morph so you instantly get this type of animation with camera morph looks pretty good and pretty dynamic yeah you can also swipe this these cameras you can just click and drag and 
select this one and choose this this camera and you're ready okay let's uh, delete this small camera and choose uh, another camera called uh, motion camera so let's uh, set up this camera okay so our uh, setup is uh, ready let's uh, uh, create our animation so Okay, so we have uh, some camera setup uh, ready and light setup ready. So we want to bring all of these elements into After Effects. So let me show you uh, what you need to do to set up this animation to bring it to the After Effects. So uh, first we need to apply a compositing tag on to my star object. So apply compositing tag and enable this buffer and set this to 1 and what this allows us to do to uh, uh, render uh, render, out, uh, render out kind of an alpha mat for uh, this star object only so next I'm going to apply a compositing tag on this one compositing tag and enable the buffer and set this to do and okay okay so the next next thing uh, we need to add is an external compositing tag so let's do this one and apply external compositing tag so after render out my scene with this tag we will get a null where we can put any other 2d elements uh, like text or objects uh, 2d objects or video in uh, uh, after effects in compo in our compositing process so okay uh, so with all that set up we need to set up some of the render settings so go to the render settings so in the save section here you can uh, give the location for your render images regular images and here uh, you can uh, save your uh, render passes so can choose any fo any uh, any of the folders and hit save and also check uh, this uh, alpha channel on because uh, we will composite uh, our background in After Effects so make sure that is checked on. Okay, so okay, so the main thing is uh, the drop down here. So uh, let's. Uh, Make sure you check this save button on and uh, select the target application After Effects and also include uh, 3D data because we need all of the uh, lights and camera data in. So and uh, in the uh, render pass let's choose uh, object buffer and set this to 1 for a star and again choose uh, object buffer and set this to 2 for our glow object so so okay uh, now we ready to render so you guys can uh, render this out I'm not going to render this out because uh, I have already done that okay so I will see you in the After Effects okay guys so here we are in After Effects and uh, as you can see the cameras and lights that we created in Cinema 4D it's uh, all brought into the After Effects uh, and that's the best thing about uh, AEC workflow. So okay let's move on and let's hide all these uh, cameras and lights. So make it shy. Uh, and the next uh, thing as we working in uh, Sigma 4D with the 16 bit uh, per channel so make sure it's 16 bit and choose sRGB and turn this on and hit OK. So it's enhanced uh, the colors a bit. Okay, so let's uh, import the glow streak. So 
let's import this so actually as I uh, have uh, separately rendered out this uh, sequence so let's choose add okay guys so uh, some uh, issue going on here uh, for this uh, we will use uh, we're gonna use uh, the uh, glow alpha pass uh, that we uh, that we made in cinema with object buffer so we can use as a matte a matte object to cut this out so let's uh, choose this one and import and match with the end and choose luma mat and it's gone so same with this so import star alpha and first uh, let's pre-compose this and name it glow and match with the end and now uh, let's first uh, it's not uh, pure white so make it white okay so now let's choose luma inverted so okay it works okay let's apply a glow effect on the glow object so now it's looking pretty good let's turn on the background okay okay guys so now let's apply some uh, shockwave elements to uh, our comp so let's apply this So it's not uh, it's with the uh, with the back black BG. So let's duplicate this and set this to Luma Mat. And now it's uh, transparent. Okay. And let's pre-compose this and name this uh, Shock Wave. So guys, uh, let's. Uh, make it 3d and uh, this is the null that we created uh, with the external compositing tag so let's the position let's move it here and copy this uh, position and hit P and paste to the shockwave position so as you can see it's a uh, attach this null okay so now it's uh, follow the null position so uh, we can uh, apply the star alpha and match at the end okay so let's uh, select the shock wave and choose luma mat i hope it's gonna work okay it's working let's ramp it with this okay it uh, looks uh, pretty pretty good okay now uh, you can duplicate this and move this we can also apply curves adjustments can get blue Okay, it works. Or oh, you can apply VC color vibrance.
we can also apply some other elements uh, like uh, atmospheric smoke effect let's turn this down to maybe 60% Let's duplicate this and right click and choose a flip horizontal and make it a different color. You can also apply some color adjustments. So to layer new adjustment layer so I get color correction apply curves turn this down let's ramp you this okay it's looking pretty good and it's not quite visible because uh, our alpha is not completely white so apply curves and make it white let's copy this curve and apply onto this okay guys i hope you like this video and if you liked it please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel so please please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials for Cinema 4D, After Effects and uh, other motion graphics tutorials. And you guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and like me on Facebook for getting some more news and updates about upcoming videos and uh, uh, other ideas. So be sure to follow, uh, follow me and uh, hit the subscribe button now guys. So okay, bye everybody. We will see you next time.